Welcome back, Sports Tonight on Channels Television. We are taking a look at what's going on in our world of sports. I told you tonight was showing so much love to Nigeria's D Tigress. So let's go back to Tenerife in Spain. Standing by to talk to us is the coach of the team, Coach Otis Hugli. Uh, let's go there now and uh, find out what the coach thinks about his team and ways that we can put them together. Coach, it's good to have you on Sports Tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for everything you've done with the team. Coach, how can you describe Nigeria's performance at the Women's World Cup? It was a long road, but with the discernment and, and support of the, the federation, we were able to, to get here and have an opportunity to put on exhibit to the world, you know, that Nigeria is for real and that we're, we're a team that you can't look past, you can't look around, that you have to you have to go through. And when you're done, you know you're in a game, you're in a war. Before you left, I had an interview with you and you said that this team will shock the world. How did you know? What is it that you saw in these girls before they went to Spain? See, the first thing everybody wants to say when they talk about our people, oh, they're so athletic. You know, that's code for we're not smart. We can't think. We can't shoot. But I, get, I guarantee you, we may not shoot the ball as well. If we did, then no one would beat us. But it takes a lot of intelligence to beat a team and never make a jump shot. How do you win three games in a row and you don't do it from the perimeter in a perimeter ridding field? So that takes intelligence. It takes brilliance. And people from our hemisphere and our country of Nigeria and the continent of Africa are the most intelligent people on the face of the earth. Mm, I like that. How difficult was that match against Greece? It was it was tough because it was the it was the third game in, in, in as many days or well, in four days, you know, after a long flight. So it was tough. But our girls found resolve. They used intelligence, they used strength, they used toughness, and they used their heritage to persevere. And you saw what happened. They made history. I know. I'm sorry. Know. They rewrote history. Hmm. We're so proud of them, and that's why I was celebrating this team. Um, against the USA, um, could it have been better in any way? Oh, absolutely. We, you know, we, we, we had a great first quarter, a really good second quarter. We held the best team in the world to nine first quarter points, nine points. It was 17 to nine. Halftime, it was 27-23. We just wore out. It was our fourth game in five days. We don't shoot the ball well against a lineup where that three man was taller, two inches taller than our center, who was playing on one leg. So with that being said, I thought our girls did an unbelievable job to face the giant. Did you expect more from Adora Elano? No, no, listen, everybody knows who Adora is. So when they game plan and they prepare, guess who they're trying to stop? So it becomes a lot more difficult for someone like Adora or, or Sarah who had that big game for teams at this level. They're not going to let them play. They're going to make other people beat them. And that's why it was so tough. But, man, I thought she played well. I thought she was stable. She provided the leadership we needed. She was a goo out there. And if anybody says otherwise, they really don't understand this game. Mm. Awesome. Coach, how important is it for us to keep this team together? Sir, say again? How important is it for us to keep this team together? Unbelievably important. This is just the beginning. And I think the Federation has accomplished an unbelievable task in commandeering global interests and mobilizing interests to play for their home country. A lot of these teams have been poaching on Africa for everything. Why would basketball be any different? Taking some of our best players. You look on a lot of their te these teams, there's Africans everywhere. Now we can just call them home and we can get those that belong where, uh, where they, they air from, then I guarantee you Nigeria won't just be uh, a, a novelty. It'll be expected. Mm. I must say, Thank you so much, Coach, for your time, for everything you've done for this team. And just to let you know that we're also praying for you. How is your family doing, Coach? 
Well, you know, praise God that he spared him. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just so, so, so grateful for that. And I appreciate all the prayers and the support and may they continue. Thank you. Thank you so much, Coach Otis. Uh, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you for your time. All right. Good night. Good night. So that's it. We said we're going to do it. We did it. That's the coach of the D-Tigress, Otis Ugly, speaking to us right there from Tenerife in Spain.